Take a deep inhale in through the nose. Audible exhale, let it out through the mouth. Begin to radiate with this ball of energy and walk in through this ball of energy and allow it to bring you into complete relaxation. Sink further down into the earth. And I will see you on the other side. Love is a frequency that we all are trying to find, you know, in one form or another. You know, sound healing can just kind of helps in some sort of way. It, it kind of like a, a guidance, a, a vessel, uh, some sort of like um, a, a beacon of light. Um, and, and that's what sound healing to me is. It's, it's just a beacon of light. You know, as they say, when you go in the dark, you find your light or you find the light. Finding themselves, finding light within themselves. I do, you know, I do everything from Reiki and then sound healing and then also yoga. Those, those have contributed so much in my life. And, uh, and it also brought a, a deeper understanding of who I am. I do everything out of love. The day that I quit drinking was the moment I realized I'm gonna be alone for a while. <laughs> And this is going to be probably the most hardest thing that I'll ever have to accomplish in my life. And I found when I was vulnerable that I, there, was a, there was like this, this, this state of like I felt like I needed to fight through this. It was a thing that, that I, I kind of just buried deep down and left it in there for such a long time long time when was the moment that you uh you know in terms of sobriety when was your what was your turnaround moment we all have those epiphany like those 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 breaking moments in our lives where we had a dream about something that it just boom, just pops everything open it's like almost opening pandora's box even then at that point i was starting to question myself do i need to stop and i've been trying to tell myself the girl that i was dating at the time i told her i, I need to stop because it's, it, it became a point where I was blacking out every single time that I drank. Every single time. Right then and there, I felt guilty of everything. From doing drugs, from drinking, from, you know, treating people, you know, mistreating people. Mm -hmm. It was like I was living a lie. And um, how, how did yoga, your yoga practice and sound healing, uh, how did that all come into the picture and help you stay sober and, you know, get to where you're at today? Yoga, I mean, you, you know, yoga means to yoke and bring together. I was bringing the mind and the body together, which I have not been able to do. Once I was able to connect that and bring the dots together, then I realized this is, I want to keep doing this. And I kept doing it. <clears throat> I was coming in two, three days out of the week <laughs> and also going into my AA classes and, um, you know, to end my, my, um, my DUI classes. Mm. Um, and the other factor as to why I stopped drinking was because I got two DUIs. Mm. So at some point I just said, you know, what? okay, that's enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. And even after I got my second DUI, I still kept drinking. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I would say later down the road, I just finally said, I'm done. My last night of drinking was my last night of drinking. I never had an, a sip, a drink, nothing mm -hmm. in my system with alcohol, ever. Thank you for sharing that. It's like, that is super vulnerable to share that because there could be shame around that or embarrassment. But I think that as yogis, we kind of have a responsibility through our practice to do the best we can to tell the truth and be vulnerable and put ourselves out there because it gives other people permission to do the same. So I just want to say thank you for sharing that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why I was brought into this, into this world. Um, 
to help people understand to be some sort of beacon of light for them. I just had a sound bath with Ivan and it was wonderful. I felt like out of space, like into the universe. Um, like a lot of people, I'm going through stuff in my life. I need to kind of step away from my story and do some healing and tonight was exactly what I needed. I bow to the creative wisdom, I bow to the teacher within. You know, you're, you're bowing to yourself. You're bowing to yourself because you brought yourself here to, to get a practice done. The bowls were so powerful. You can really feel it through your body. And I felt like he really held the space for love and compassion for everyone in the room. Very calming, very relaxing. I loved the variation of sound, all the vibration. I was deeply touched by the vibe and his intention and the way his kind of heart came through and I needed that. What would you say to anybody out there that is struggling right now and they want to make some changes in their life so that they can feel good about getting out of the bed every day, so that they can find that strength that you're talking about? Finding solitude through, you know, through meditation, um, which, you know, meditation doesn't have to be hours and hours and hours. Um, you know, it could just be five minutes. You are never, ever, ever alone. You, we are still, I still struggle. Mm -hmm. Michael still struggles. Mm -hmm. People that have had addiction still struggle. We struggle all the time. We are not perfect in any way. Mm -hmm. You know, I struggle through my journey sometimes. Sometimes there's days where I'm upset. You know, I'm not perfect. And, and, and finding that understanding will help you to, to not only just say, okay, it's all right that I'm going through this, you know, mm -hmm. now let me fix it. Mm. You know, self-love is a lot, is a lot to take, especially when you have so much regret that you have, this embodied, that you have embodied through for such a long period of time, and then coming to realization that, you know what, this doesn't belong to me anymore. Mm. This, this, you know, this whole aptitude of just finding guilt and throwing shame in myself and feeling shame and then throwing yourself into this pit of, you know, of complete um, obscurity um, without even recognizing not a single face mm. uh, and then living in doubt. Like Ivan said, you are not alone in anything that you do in this world. And if you are struggling with any kind of imbalances in your life, know that if you ask, if you look inside and you ask and follow that ask with trust, then the circumstances, the people, the right little hidden message in the next book you pick up and turn the page, something's gonna show up for you where you're gonna know exactly what to do and how to take that next step. Do what you need to do to get your help if you need to. Um, there are professionals that can help you out, but also to go within mm -hmm. and don't go without. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. All right, everybody, uh, checking out from here in Woodland Hills. We'll see you guys on the next one. My name is Michael Fireborn. This is Brother Ivan. Satnam, Satnam. everyone. Namaste, oh, peace. One thing that I want to mention, too, uh -huh. Body Through Yoga. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's a great space. So if anybody's interested in coming here to, uh, for sound baths, for yoga, particularly, and other events, uh, make sure to check out their website as well, mm -hmm. bodythroughyoga.com. Um, I'll yeah. put the, uh, their website and their Instagram in the description. Yes. And like the video, thumbs up it and subscribe. I never yeah. ask. I never tell people <laughs> to do that. And I always afterwards, I'm like, just ask. Follow us on Instagram too. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anand Karta, Anand I'll... underscore Karta dot Singh. There we um, go. And we then... are spiritual marketing professionals. <laughs> we try to be. It's hard. Thank it's you, so brother. hard. No problem. Right no problem. <laughs>